automating inventor using python from visual studio let's debug the code first define few enums values actually they're not actually enums but those are used in inventor api import win32.com library try to connect to inventor if the instance is running get hold of that otherwise create new instance of the inventor at this stage the inventor is invisible so make it visible now by setting this property visible property to true now this inventor application is running but at this stage as you see no document is open so our first task is to add a document and for that we have to specify which template we want to use for creating the new document so here we are actually trying to get the template file with the unit system and using that template file to add a document to the document collection of this application and the newly added document is stored in the part doc variable so the document is added now this is a little bit tricky thing i don't want to discuss at this stage but this is important without this i was not able to proceed further this is related to lead binding and early binding concept uh, don't bother about this at this stage now uh, we have to get hold of the component definition actually part component definition of this currently open part document we have to create a sketch on the xy plane so we have to get hold of the xy plane first remember we select it manually normally when we add uh, the sketch interactively then we create a sketch as you see we have created the sketch we could have renamed the sketch programmatically but we have not done it in this code then we are adding two transient point actually these two points are actually two transient geometry p and q with this specific coordinates and we are creating a actually two point centered rectangle with this two point as you see now we are changing the view and then we are adding this um, sketch uh, for extrusion as a profile then we are defining the parameters for extrusion like the direction and height and all this stuff and then we are finally creating the extrude feature so i will modify this code to add holes and other features but this is the simple code and as we are doing it in inventor we can actually debug it now as you see this instance the inventor is currently running and one document is created now if i run it again it will not create any new instance instead it will get hold of the current instance so it will this line ex execution of this line will be very fast because it is not creating any new inventor instance it is just getting hold of the uh, actively running inventor instance is already set to visible no problem add a new part so we'll be seeing part two here part two okay now at this stage actually you can put add watch and you can see the members of this object right what's inside that so this is the benefit of debugging in visual studio that probably you cannot get in some other ideas like ideally or some other else so you can take full advantage of visual studio now i will do i will do a conversion from python to other programming languages okay uh, so that i can teach you the comparison between the multiple languages the steps will remain same 
in fact i have already done it i will show you let me keep it up that i have created several projects the same actually the same project same automation in c++ c net python vba and vue.net basically vbs would be excel vba yeah excel vba but to keep this uh, excel file i have created a dummy project here but actually this model contains the vba code but you cannot run it from visual studio this is just a placeholder but the actual code will be in excel file you have to run it from excel so the same automation can be done using c++ c sharp python vba and vue.net and i will be teaching all of those languages so you you will be becoming master of inventor automation using all the languages uh, you will be learning all the programming languages and you know when to use which language at what time